turkey, have ribs. Have you ever had those baby uh, ribs? Uh, excuse me, I have auto delivery on them in my house. Oh, well, okay. excuse me, mister. <laughs> Smell you. Uh, All right. Jimmy's my friend, too. <laughs> hey, you know what? This is amazing. We're talking about the ultimate can opener with the auto attach feature. I own this, I use it in my kitchen, I used it a lot over Thanksgiving. When I made my uh, baked corn uh, casserole, I used it to open up my uh, cream corn cans. This is K18779. We're talking about $18.25 for a gadget that does five different jobs. Five and one. The ultimate can opener. Remember, the reason why this was all invented, I know you're looking at me going, come on, a can opener? How can that be a great gift? How can that be exciting? I've been selling a can opener on QVC for 15 years. It was one of my first products. And the reason is, it is the best can opener. I'm not kidding you. Like, the bottom line is we had one choice beforehand, okay? It was this can opener. It was the only kind of can opener there was. This blade is actually a blade that goes into the can, cuts the can from the top, creates microscopic shavings of metal in the can that falls into your food that you ingest. It touches the food so it cross-contaminates uh, cross and breeds bacteria. There was no other way of doing it until Kun Recon came out with this one. This reverses the canning process. So what happens is instead of coming from the side like we're used to, we're coming from the top. Okay, I'm going to bring this down over here so you can see what I'm doing. So basically what you're going to do is put the, the, the can on the counter from up top and you just twist. It actually auto attaches and how you know so is that it picks up here. Once you're doing that, you go around once and what's nice is the force is from up top than from the side. You have more dexterity. If it's easier, you just flip it back to let it go. Now, this can of, what, was, what do we have here? We have sliced carrots in a liquid. Not a drop of it is anywhere here. There's also no blades here, if you notice, David. Okay, so I've just opened that can. We're going to use the little bird beak right there to show you. Now, you don't have to use the bird beak, but to show you that I did open the can. In fact, not only that, no sharp edges, no sharp edges. Um, and this can go right into the garbage can. I forgot the garbage can. Sorry. Oh, well. <laughs> so we'll make pretend I'm dropping into the garbage can. There we go. Done. Oh, look at that. We're done. Voila. We're done. My I was fault. Sorry. To see if there was another garbage can around the side, but there's not. But I forgot. Sorry. Oh, Tara has a bowl. <laughs> so anyway, here's thank a you. bowl. See, here's Tara's always helping us out. Thank you, Tara. You can put your trash in so, there. Um, oh, thank the, you, So the beauty behind that is that now you can open up a can safely with no sharp edges, with no microscopic shavings in your food, and it just makes for a cleaner way of having something in the kitchen. You can now open dog food and go straight to baby formula, no cross-contamination. Well, let's go down and talk colors because we've got lots of different colors for you to round out your, uh, your kitchen decor. And we're going to begin here with the olive. Olive is my most limited color, and I don't remember seeing this in olive before. Mark yes, it, it, it's been around. Has it? Okay. You might be confusing maybe with not. the polka dots. We had different maybe, colors. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, so here's olive. I have it in spice, so these are definitely your autumn colors. I have it for you in aquamarine. This one is, uh, gr is this grape? That is grape, yes, correct. Eggplant. Eggplant. Sorry, that. Eggplant. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here they we are in blue, in black. This is the one I own. I own it in black. And we have it in red, but red's the most popular, and there's no surprise there. This is customer top rated. And Mark Charles, can you quickly just show us, uh, yep. give us a tour and show us how it does all five things? So the can opener, I think, is the worth the, worth the price of admission. That's the main body right here. But over here, you have four other functions. So what I love about it is, see that parrot beak right there? We're going to actually open up all those pull tabs out there. So watch this. No fingernail breaking. And of course, I bite my fingernails. You can go underneath there. And that was a tough one, actually, because that one actually was curved in. So you have to do that. Now, the beauty behind that, that's number two. Number three is over here, you have a stainless steel bottle opener. What's great about that is it's never going to rust or pit on you because it's stainless steel. So that's number three. Number four is this. What you don't realize is that one liter, two liter, three liter bottles all have the same size cap. So we do this graduated cap. Here and here's a little secret. Hold on to this and twist the bottle so it breaks that seal for you. And hopefully, nobody shook this a little bit. There we go. It's a curse. No explosions. That breaks that. There's that. And the last, but not least, is a lot of metal jars are pressurized when they're um, canned, jarred, if you will. This little hook right there goes underneath the metal. And watch, it's hard to hear it on air, but it actually breaks the vacuum so you can open it right yeah, it up. Yeah, releases the vacuum yeah, seal. So really, so all if you buy one. a bottle of olives or pepperoncinis yep. or anything like that, they tend to be vacuum sealed in the jar. Um, how many gone now, Sean? Over a thousand. There's a buy more, save more here as well. So Great if you gift. buy one of these, it's eighteen twenty-five. Everyone you buy after that, carry the one minus the two. Uh, it's Whoa. fifteen twenty-five. <laughs> and math. so this is going to be. I know the math. I was just being silly. <laughs> um, all right. So fifteen twenty-five is what you'll pay for everyone after the first one. And remember, if we ship them all to the same address, you'll get another discount on your shipping and handling when you order more than one of the same item number, and we ship it all to that same address. And I can't emphasize enough, David. You think, well, what a weird gift to give. I promise you, they've never opened up a can like this before. We've only had 
this is a choice. Now that this has come around for the last 15 years, it's just a better way of doing something we all need to do. So why not do it better with a lot more flair and have five tools in one so you don't have to grab a separate tool. You just grab the, the five in one and it's all ready to go. So here's another different can. Doesn't matter the size. You can do those small little tomato paste or those big warehouse cans. Again, no microscopic shavings, no cross bacteria, no cross contamination, no sharp edges. I had pineapple in my sweet potatoes at you Thanksgiving. You did. And I love pineapple right in my sweet potatoes. Garbage. That's actually a great idea. I actually put pineapple in my stuffing. This oh, year. also nice. Mm -hmm. I made a cornbread sausage sage stuffing this oh, and, year. And the leftovers are where exactly? Mm, in my tummy. In <sighs> my tummy. See? Doesn't doesn't share. Doesn't I gained share the a love. few Thanksgiving pounds. I'm not ashamed to admit <laughs> Don't it. Don't be ashamed. All right, it, baby. Come on now. It. Hey, let's also remind you of colors because we've got some great, great colors for you. And we're going to begin with olive. I've got olive for you. Here it is. In, uh, we're most limited in olive. Here is spice. I have it in aquamarine. Here's eggplant. Blue. Black. And finally, the most popular red. red. Over 2,500 are gone, Mr. Mark Charles Massilli. Great and I you. hope that you have a very telling afternoon. Mm -hmm. I hope so, too. There you go. <laughs> see you Wednesday. That's all I'm going to share with you for now. <laughs> Mark Charles is going to see a performance today. I yes. hope it's very telling. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> oh, I have to go here to talk about recipe, oh, don't I? Okay. Sorry. Bye. Let me go this way and do this first. We're making my parsnip au gratin. And we're building this much like uh, you would layer